final computation oh, wow. of scoliosis. So he didn't have a right <coughs> or a left option. In the 1740s, shoemakers of African descent, they actually corrected the method in the Western world. That's why we have the right and left footed shoe, right? And that's a part of the uniform. The white vest, what's missing would be the white long sleeve shirt and the white pants. These were the gaiters to be worn over the pants and on top of the shoe, and the commander would wear the scarf across the show in status. Okay? And lastly, I'm going to take you guys upstairs so you can get a view of how far the sea got pushed back to, so you see how much land we gained. And when we go further in the midsection, looking out into the harbor, I'll show you a mark of how far the city extended to the fort side. When we go up the stairs, you know this one? <laughs> We didn't have that back in the day. No? <laughs> 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 yeah, right? This is cool. It won't break, right? No. You we, sure? We used to wear them ever so often. I don't know if you see them. We didn't get, we didn't get license to be a tourist oh, site. Shit. We didn't get license to be a tourist site. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have Okay, them. okay. All right, look further out. Look how far the sea is today. See it? Right. Here's the way that we right here. See that white part of sand in the sea? That's one of about nine islands off the coast. That one is called Rackham Street. So you see Calico Jack Rackham Street after being executed in places. Also disappears or when the sides are, are high, you can't see it actually. If you look beside it, you see that boat wreckage there. Over seven years ago, a couple were coming from night sea and there are there are markers in the sea. Like that's where ships come from overseas to enter the harbor. So you have green markers on that end and inside the harbor here you have red markers. So for large vessels, they say outside red markers and inside green. That small vessel which is here inside the green marker, which is not on the reef. So I was explaining that you can't go to separate the island because I have a reef after all. The Lime Key would be the ideal island to go, it's more accessible, right? Look into the harbor here now. You're looking for a red marker that's floating. Boy, a red what? Yeah, red marker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so far the city extended to before the 1692 earthquake. Before that first earthquake, the landmass went to the red marker and then picture 33 acres of land from that marker going straight across the Kingston Island. So when you're heading back to Kingston, anywhere you see those markers on that side, it's a permitted section to show. So you see large, you see large vessels, they cannot sail inside the red marker because they're gonna run on the sunken city. Mm. So if you dive here with the proper tools to get past the Silton, you will find sunken streets, churches, taverns, shops, ports, marketplaces. And houses. That's the sunken city right there. And then from here, I'm gonna take you to Guys, this is really cool. So, <clears throat> so right now we're in the Port Royal, Jamaica, and uh, he's giving us a tour of the city here. There's like a, a city where people just lived before, and now it got hit by three earthquakes and uh, sank down and uh there was pirates here and all these situations so if you ever come to jamaica make sure you come and check it out all right it's really cool i mean you can learn a lot over here and everything so just come and check it out all right these four are the only four original cannons that were here these ones right here so these are real these are original yeah. And if you're a fan of James Bond, the first James Bond movie, Dr. No, was shot the here. Lastly, to showcase that the sea used to be much closer, this is a mooring ring here. There's another one there. So the ships used to tie ropes here, drop anchors out there to stay afloat. Well, the sea used to be a stone throw away 300 years ago. 
Oh so yeah. The car is now parked. Yeah. Over 300 years ago, I told you it used to be water, right? For real. After 1692's earthquake, the British officials ordered men to manually fill it in. So that's man made land you parked on. Oh. So you see, whenever we have high tides and heavy rainfall, yeah. sometimes outside it's flooded that no cars can be parked there. So oh. Yeah, come on. So when I take you to walk to the giddy house, you guys can't say you never walk on water before. Right? If you remember my name, it's Andrew, that's one of the names of Jesus' his disciples. So you'll be in good hands while walking on water. <laughs> this guy's <is> good. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. <laughs> guys, you gotta come check him out. If y'all ever come to Jamaica, man, make sure to come to Port Royal, right? These are original, untreated. These are brought here from Belize in 1953. 1953 is two years after Hurricane Charlie happened in 1951. So that hurricane destroyed this area, low and upper deck. So these were brought in from Belize in 1953 to reinforce this area, right? And the original cannonball, that's it right there. I showed you the replica one. That one weighs 30. So this is a real one? Yeah, that's a real one. So you're making a bomb. Um, no, no, no. Careful, bro. Yeah, from Belize. If you want to see the artifacts that the Coopers acts and acts that the males from Africa used to carve it, you have to go to the museum in Duke Street, Institute of Jamaica's Museum, that's one from this side. And where you're now standing, this will be 90 miles northeast from Cuba. This is the Flagstone Star. So here, these are the lines of latitude and longitude and how you would locate Jamaica. But back then, they had the flag staff here, upright, before the first deck was paved. You have a flag staff waving the flag pole. So this is where British soldiers brought their trigonometrical items and they were able to calculate and plot routes and how far other Caribbean countries were from this point. So standing here, you are 90 miles northeast from Cuba. When the Spaniards actually came to Jamaica in 1492, mm -hmm. the Spaniards theory, they believed that the earth was flat enough. They didn't want to come here. They wanted to go to the East Indies. So they kept on sailing east, east, east and ended up here hence we are called west, west indies. indies so you see the trigonometrical method when you have height it creates an angle that enables you to calculate hypotenuse so the pythagoras that's a squared plus b squared equals c squared those type of trigonometrical calculations were done from here and that's how soldiers and sailors were able to plot routes to go to Belize and other areas to plunder in panama that's where the largest raid in piracy was made by captain henry morgan in 1668, Captain Henry Morgan and his men plundered the city of Puerto Bear in Panama and they stole over 250,000 pieces of eight silver coins, which is equivalent in value to 155 million pounds today or 240 million US dollars. Money. So those guys were handling that type of money here as early as the 1660s. Wow. Hence here was the richest and most sinful city in the world, right? In today's time, for outside 75 years, Port Royal has a 0.5% crime rate. So from once the most sinful city in the world, to now one of the safest yes. places. Because us now, we don't want any more earthquakes or tsunamis or hurricanes. <laughs> the most peaceful city. Don't want no more karma. Yeah, watch your head, watch your head, to show the average time. Almond tree, right? Yeah. yeah. So guys, this is the almond tree that you eat in the stores. This is the real, real tree that it gets off. So you can really like, <clears throat> you can really like pick it and eat it. Oh, you guys see it right here. But they're green now, so. Thank you. 
Five years for them to get these guns from Sheffield. So this is a real gun? Yeah, this is the original one. Shit. A few moments from now, I'm gonna operate a replica one for you right inside there. So the replica one is the same size, I'm gonna move it with the remote control. So 14 of these. Man, this history's in. crazy. And three of them came here, the other 11 were still around the Caribbean. This is car style, right? I'm going to give you guys a task to perform. I want you to try and walk a straight line into the giddy house, to and from. Okay. By doing that task, Amen. That... you get in the head, that's what we call the giddy feeling, right? So this is a giddy house? So guys, this is the building. This is the second floor. So so this was the there's another thing underneath? Yeah. So you the, this this section is where you get your ammunition, gunpowder and yeah. bars. The first floor is where you get Bro, bro, appearing. state your name, man. If they come to Jamaica, where can they see you? Andrew Gordon, right at Fort Charles here in Port Royal. Alright, you're a tour guy, right? One of the tour guys, right? So guys, come show them some love. If you come to Jamaica, come check him out, alright? Definitely. And you see if you're fans of Michael Jackson, from the middle of the building, all you got to do is like hold your feet forward, lean forward and you look like Michael Jackson from the photo. Yeah, very much a Philly Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going. Or, or I should say smooth criminal. Oh my bad. Yeah, smooth criminal. I ain't going in there, man. We place, we place doors now. Okay. Rented from collapse. Fall over. Okay. okay. Got you. All right, so when you guys are finished doing the walk, just join me over the other section. I'm going to turn on the gun so I can operate it for you guys, right? <laughs> oh shit, these are tambourines, eh? Yes, it is. Oh, nice. Hey, you know when you turn around and walk them back and make your head feel like yeah, it? Does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Look, <laughs> it's the same thing. Look, it's the same thing I felt. Look, I'm serious. <laughs> you would think it's so easy, but it's not. You did it good. That was fun. <laughs> Going you want to start, do you want me to hold that for you? Nah, hell no. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it looks dizzy inside, eh? So guys, this is real organic Jamaican tambourines from the tree. No chemicals, it's directly off the tree. You can eat it, it's a bit sour, sweet. There's a seed inside, so you get off the brown tart. Once you get to the seed, we put it on the ground. What we do in Jamaica, we would add sugar to it. Yeah. We call it tamarind bar. In some areas like here, we put white rum in it also. It's tart. Yeah, yeah. It's sour? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but like you're, you guys are Americans, right? Yeah. You, you know it's about like the, the, the proactive when you have the pimples, right? Mm -hmm. So when you have measles and, and like pimples on the skin, you can use the leaves from the tamarind tree, boil it, bathe with it, get rid of the pimples. Can't you hear that, right? And you can also use the leaves, boil it, sweeten it with sugar, and drink it tea. as tea. Yeah. yeah. Tea. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Really? Yeah. So what we do as cool. Jamaicans, any type of plant that the goats eat, mm -hmm. humans can eat it. Also. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, your name Jason too? Yeah. That's my name. <laughs> All right. If you need one, if they are. If you want to shake them and they don't fall down, that means they are not ready. You might just fall down. And these are almonds, right? Yeah, these are almonds. So if you break it, there's something you can eat inside. Yeah, I'm not. I'll show you. What we normally do though, we take them up and shake them. Like, shake that one. That's all. See that? That's the nut. Yeah. Inside. So you don't want to waste your time to smash one that's empty. So you shake them first. And you feel and you hear. Okay. okay. So you know that when you smash that, so there's a section you can smash. Yeah. Oh, right over here. This is where we get almonds from. Here's like the ones that are different from these ones out here. So we go back to the days of the barbarians where we use stone to get our food, right? Yeah. From the tree, man. Nice. You're not allergic to nuts. No, no, no. As as this, there's allergic. a good one here. Yeah, that's a good one. Alright. So guys, this is almond from the tree. Like this, directly from the tree. Over, this one is overcooked. This one is too dry. That's funny. Yeah. So you one you thought was good is overcooked. <laughs> this one is. This one is okay. This one can be eaten. So Jamaica, you can have all the natural stuff yeah. from the tree. That's a good one right here, man. Yeah. yeah. This one is awesome. Wow, yeah. That one's good too right there. You can tell the good ones are nice. This one's overcooked. Oh, that was wrong. <laughs> this one's a good one. So you guys can have those. Go for it, guys. Good. Why not? So this is my little section where I smashed them. That one is good. Yeah. What I'm gonna do now is just operate this cannon for you for the final part. That's a real one or a fake one? It's a replica. Okay. So if you have, as kids know, like 15 years ago, we used to come here and play hide and seek. Because you have <laughs> underground tunnels beneath. You have one here, an entrance and exit to operate the gun. You have one underground which led for ammunition to the building and back. And you have one underground which led all the way across on the right hand side in front of the military base. That's where two smaller guns were placed. So these, these were air vent units. These are right here. One, two, and three. Those were air vents which provided soldiers that traveled underground in fresh air. So we are now standing on the roof of the structure. We sank 15 feet. So if you move to it, these were 15 feet. That means to be Oh, nice. Oh, it works. Yeah. So originally, the original one was manually operated. We set up this one last year in July. This is now hydraulic operated, right? The original one was manually operated by six guys. So three guys would be on the right, three on the left. They did not have earmuffs. So when they were operating these guns, what they did for air protection, the horses that they rode on and the cattle that they raised, like the cows and pigs, whenever they remove wax from animals' ears, they Ew. line the soldiers up and stuff their ears oh, with animals' wax. That's disgusting. So that's what they had to do in that time. Oof. Now, even though the structure is built in a circular manner, the British did not allow their weapons to fire a full 360 degrees. Because what would that leave it point that way and fire? That's not smart, right? Mm -hmm. so you see that piece painted black at the back? That was the R. The British built that R in case their enemies, French or Spanish, if they captured a gun, they couldn't destroy the city. 
They oh. could only fire a hundred and eighty degrees where they came from as enemies. Huh. And the metal rings had some thick chains that connected to the gun and held it intact because of the recoil the gun had. So Oh. Yeah. These rings are all uh, depeners. Yeah. And what's a what? Depener? Holding the recoil. Yeah, holding okay. recoil. Yeah. So you see this? This is the original holding point for the cannon. So we took it out last year in July. And we got that's a real one, I think. It's really cool, man. May I ask you guys where is the next stop before you have to go To the beach, man. Yeah. yeah. To the beach. Oh, there is losing land, you know. Yes. Yeah, so so yeah. while we are gaining land here, over there is losing land. In Elsa? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting smart. Yeah. Erosion takes place there. Every five to nine years, we gain land because of deposition. Oh yeah? Yeah. Guys, Jamaica is beautiful, man. Look at this. This is like amazing out here. If y'all come to Jamaica, man, make sure you come to Port Royal and come check this guy out. He's really cool. He's gonna show you some cool stuff over here. The population we have six bars here. Still the lowest the most bars the most Jamaica is known the the what crazy man that's me <laughs> that's me i'm on no right. i'll tell you why you know i'll tell you why Swimming was an ideal thing for persons of upper class back then, but it goes further in depth than that. Most of Jamaicans we are still suffering from the generational trauma of our ancestors and forefathers being carried along from Africa across the sea here. So we are still terrified of the water. But you will find swimmers from Jamaica that live in the coastline areas. Like for here, more than 90% of Port Royal residents can swim. So you are taught how to swim here from a tender age. You are also taught how to catch the sea by all the so you can swim. Yeah, I'm a certified lifeguard also. What? Right? So, so bro, you do it all, man. Yeah, I'm a certified lifeguard and a standard first aid. That's thanks to the COVID when the fort was closed on over two years, right? So a typical console around Jamaica. Females are first taught how to go up here. Males are taught how to go. So you're taught how to swim. That's what I could cook. do. Respect, man. Sorry, bro. I got the more change. Okay. Okay. Be good. So, take care, man. Right. It was amazing. All right. Be good. So, guys, we hit the end of this journey right now. So, now we're getting out. Have a good one.